everybody. Welcome to Percussion Axiom TV. I am your host, Tom Burritt, and we are back after a long summer vacation with episode 82. And, and uh, I missed you guys. I'm really happy to get back in the seat, if you will, um, of PA TV. And I hope you guys are excited to see another episode. Um, <clears throat> it's been kind of a crazy couple weeks. We're back into school now, but uh, we've had horrendous drought around here, and that's led to some devastating fires around the area. I'm sure you've heard about them. And... Um, yeah, but life goes on, and um, I've got some ideas here on where we can go for the next two months, actually, um, for a series of shows that I, that I, I know will be um, uh, important for me and also helpful to me. But, of course, I always hope that uh, someone out there cares about some of this stuff, too. So, um, as many of you know, the PAS convention coming up in Indianapolis is, is a big deal. It's the 50th anniversary celebration, and part of that, uh, the PASIC 2011 focus proposal, uh, focus day, is entitled Five Decades of New Music for Percussion, encompassing the years of 1961 to 2011. And uh, the focus day is spread out through most of the convention, so it's not just on Wednesday anymore, which is, I think, a pretty good idea um, overall. And so I've been fortunate enough, I went ahead and put a proposal in, and it was selected, so I'm really excited and happy and honored about that, and uh, so I'll be playing it on the 10th, which is Thursday at 1 o'clock, and um, the proposal talks about the specifics of what the goal is, and, and, and I'll just read a little bit of it. It says, it's, it's the intention of the committee that the major masterworks and the significant composers of our field from this time period will be represented in the proposal submitted from the membership at large. So when I read that, I got super excited because... Um, I uh, have been playing um, John Series' uh, Night Rhapsody for, um, gosh, even since the early 90s, and uh, learned it probably way too soon, <laughs> earlier than I should have, and I know I'm dating myself here a little bit, but um, it's been a piece that I've been coming back to every three, four years, and uh, it's been really probably one of the most important pieces to me professionally, and done a lot of work on it, creative work. I actually made part of it, a big part of my actual final dis dissertation, or my final document at Northwestern for my doctorate was focused on that piece. And um, so, anyway, I, I jumped at the chance to, to apply for this, and it was accepted, and I'm so, so severely honored and, and pleased to be able to do that. So, I've already preparing, preparing uh, getting the piece back in my hands, and I thought it would be a good idea to kind of work it into the show a little bit between now and November for several different reasons. Um, the first reason is I think the piece is really misunderstood. Um, you know, I think everyone knows about the piece probably, or at least most people do. Um, it doesn't get performed very often, so it's hard to hear a live performance of it. And it's, you know, everyone knows it as to being this really difficult, very, very hard um, uh, technical piece. And, and it certainly is that. There's no question. Let's make no bones about that. Um, but, you know, I think uh, some people don't know what to think of it, or they just don't know about it. And a lot of people just don't like it. And hey, that's fine. I totally understand. Um, I think it's an incredible piece of music. That's you know all the all of that said. And so I hope what to do with this is to clear up some stuff about the piece and give people a better opportunity in which to judge it. You know, not just on a performance, um, but also. And I'll try to maybe do a performance, maybe the last episode or something, um, or parts of a performance. Um, but um, definitely give you a lot of background on the piece because there's, you know, I think it's an amazing piece of music just to listen to. But, but there's even more there from a compositional standpoint, and it's just so deep and so interesting. And, and so I'm just really excited about um, sharing some of that information with you since I made it such a big investment in my life over, you know, the past 15, 20 years or so. Um, so that's the first reason, just to kind of clear up some stuff about the piece. And the second one is to um, just get a little in-depth and give you guys an opportunity that are going to be at the convention to kind of follow through the next couple months' worth of episodes. Um, I'm not sure how many there will be. Several. Um, it's going to take a lot to get through everything we need to get through. But just an opportunity for you guys to get, um, you know, an opportunity to hear an in-depth discussion about a piece but then be able to hear it. You know, I think that's kind of one way to use this kind of new uh, technology that we have, podcasting and online stuff. So, um Hopefully that will help the effectiveness of listening to the piece, um, you know, a lot as you as you show up to listen to it, and hopefully you'll come. Um, the third thing is to interact along the way. Those of you who are really interested in this sort of thing, um, you know, 
I'm not going to, I'm only, gonna, I'm going to script it only, I have a very loose outline of what I'm going to do and how I'm going to go about it. But if there's something that comes up, if you have questions about certain technical things or whatever, just, you know, leave some comments there and, and we'll kind of address those as we go. So hopefully we can make this in, as interactive as possible. Um, yeah, so that's mostly it. And so today I just wanted to get maybe kind of an announcement that this is going to happen. And so if you guys want to, you know, if you know someone who's really into uh, sort of contemporary solo marimba literature, someone who's really into, um, some of the hardcore, if you want to call it that, some real serious pieces in our repertoire, uh, you think they would like this, please spread the word. Get, I want to get as many people in on this as possible, and that's always better, because I want to learn from you guys too. And, and if you have any thoughts on how I can do this more effectively or what kind of information you would like to hear from me moving forward with this, then uh, please let me know. Um, so, um, yeah, that's basically it for today's episode. Um, hopefully we'll do this... Uh, once or twice a week, at least once a week. And what we'll do is we'll go systematically through the piece, talk a little bit about what's happening compositionally, talk about the historical ramifications. There's some really interesting things about this piece um, uh, that sort of in the initiation of the piece, it's back, was written in the 70, 78 or 79, somewhere in that area. And, um, you know, there wasn't a lot of music from Marimba written back then. And, and Lee was doing his sort of early adoption, or he was beginning to... Um, uh, get music written for him, commission music, and John Seary was at the Eastman School of Music when Lee Stevens was there. And there's this interesting story that I think is true, um, where basically it was a dare, where John Seary said, I can write you a piece that you can't play, and Lee said, no, I can play anything you write for me. And so that, whether that started with Seary or, or Stevens, I'm not exactly sure, um, but it definitely uh, does stretch the techniques, even... 20 years later, or however long it's been, um, 30 years later, uh, it's still one of those, um, you know, it's still way ahead of its time, I guess I should say. So, anyway, that's just one of a lot of really interesting things about the background of this piece. Um, so I'm really looking forward to um, getting some more information out there about it and talking about it, and I hope you guys are too. So, um, question of the episode, since we always end a PATV show with that, I guess just today would be, um, you know, um... I guess I'd like to poll you guys. If, you know, crowdsourcing is always good with this technology. What do you guys think of this piece? What are your reactions? Um, is it something? Is it, is there a piece you've heard played before? Maybe you've seen a video online or something. Just give me give me some questions, and we'll address those in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. That's all for today, and I can't wait to get this going. All right, thanks. Take care.